uh, ripple stone. Uh, this is, is from the this one is from the Kona coffee. Mm -hmm. The Kona. So last year, last year I bring our Kona Sorry. coffee and other. There were some technical difficulties. Uh, if we can reintroduce everybody. Okay. 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 So I'm the host. I'm Stanley Yu. How's it going? You know, this is Sarah Liu, she's also a Miss Chinatown Hawaii Princess and also Miss Congeniality. And of course the man of the hour, you know, we have Jack Zhao here, the owner of Hawaii Hot Shabu Shabu House. And we're actually right here, we're just, I was just about to mention about, you know, his new coffee that he has today. Do so you want to speak a little bit about that? Yes, this is called Rainbow Stone and the Chinese is called Tai Hong Shi Shi. It's from the Hawaiian. So uh, this one is a Kona one. Yeah, we we uh, create the, a lot of Hawaiian coffee, and this is like the marketing in China. So we want to, you know, uh, tell some story about Hawaiian co uh, culture and story to China. So we want to uh, create the high-end class, you know, uh, coffee to China. Just like I, I mean, if this is uh, coffee. Uh, uh, Hamas, you know, right, right, right. Yeah, just like that, yeah, yeah. So uh, now in China, it's very famous already. Yeah, people like that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it smells good yeah. too. I yeah, can smell yeah, it coming yeah. from the bag. Kona, right? Yeah. So if people wanted to buy this, how would they buy this? Uh, this one is actually not sell in Hawaii right now. Okay. Because this sell in China's marketing. In China. Yeah. So that I bring it here today because I want to tell people. We need to, to give some yeah. exposure, right? Yes. Okay, okay. I see, yeah, I see. We, yes. We bring the food from China, but we bring our food to China. You know, very, 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 very yeah, yeah. yeah. We can, we want after we have the uh, Hawaiian water and chocolate, yeah. and you know, our or any kind of food. Yeah, you can ask me. We can get your cell phone in Chinese. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then I don't yeah. know. And did you want to speak a little bit more about in you know, a Hawaii pot shabu okay. shabu house? Yes. So this one is uh, science in 2014. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have the miso soup, so and the kimchi soup, original soup, and the tanyan soup. So any kind of people you come here, you can you can find your favorite. Yeah. What is your favorite soup? My favorite, just like I say, I like any kind. It depends which kind. Yeah. Yeah, which kind? Like you know, like today, I feel very happy, right? Yeah. And then I, maybe I, I like to like some onion soup. So yeah. it depends on the mood, right? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find your, your yeah. favorite yeah, every day. Yeah. So that's why you have such a big selection of soups here. Yeah, great, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So there's definitely something that's gonna fit your mood. Yeah. If you come over here. And especially <laughs> we also have the, a lot of sauce. Yeah. So we have about 26 kind of sauce. Yeah. So you can feel the sauce. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Oh, I like the house so special how sauce. Special sauce. Mm -hmm. The house special sauce. I went to Hong Kong, Taiwan, China, a lot of cities, and Korea, and Japan, and then I created this, you know, design this sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, personally, I drink a lot of coffee too. You know, because I'm actually the owner of the Presto Bar. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So, so it's great. I'm, I can yeah. smell it. It smells fresh. You know, it smells like something that's really energetic. So it, it's great. Because mm -hmm. I was uh, vegetable. Is straight from the most seventy percent from the farm. Mm -hmm. Same like same like our coffee is straight from the farm. So we didn't buy the second hand from any any any. Mm -hmm. any yeah. So yeah. this could yeah. be a straight from the farm. Yeah yeah yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's oh good. wonderful. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Thank well, you. Thank you for your time, yeah. Jack. You know, so is there anything else you want to say to the audience? Okay. So I will say aloha and uh, where can you get from? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. I'll see you right here. So there, so there you have it. The man of the hour. We got Jack speaking to us. So yeah, let's go. Um, let's go try it out. Should we switch seats? Sure. Sure. Uh, she doesn't want spicy. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So what do we have here? So apparently, Sarah doesn't like spicy, so I, I got the yeah, spicy one, right? Yeah, spicy for me. So if you look around here, you have some, what do you have in yours? Uh, have some mushrooms. I have some red dates, some goji berries. I see a couple of bok choy and some, I want to say oyster mushrooms or enoki mushrooms. Uh -huh. Great. But I don't have a place setting, so I guess I'll oh, just... Oh, you, you have to wait till you have a place setting. <laughs> So 
just take one over there. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. you can try it a wow, little bit. Look, there's kimchi. I can handle kimchi. <laughs> well, let's see how spicy this one is. It might be spicier than kimchi, you know? Mm -hmm. It looks it looks pretty bad. So it looks like it looks like it's a thicker broth. You know, it's definitely not watered down. They have to use a lot of ingredients in the soup. You know? What is your yak? What soup is that? What's kind of like uh, oh, I want to say this is maybe original the broth. original broth. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a, a oh a lot of these like at least like red dates, or goji berries. I have red right dates out. and goji berries. A lot of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. so this is a variety of mushrooms. Well, I'm gonna try already because I'm getting kind of hungry. Mm. That's flavorful. Right, let's turn this on. So that way you can have to at least try it. So that. That. That, yeah. Oh, you know what you want to eat? You know what you want to eat? Okay. Even better. <laughs> I love meat. <laughs> I like pork belly and beef. Oh, okay. Man, you're I see we have out. a lot of variety of seafood here. This looks like mussels. Mussels, yeah. Mussels. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And there's oysters. Mm -hmm. You want to try some of that? Mm -hmm. Let's go try some. After you, I gotta wait till it gets a little hot first. Do you want to go and get some sauces? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay, we're gonna go get some sauces. We'll be back. We'll get some sauce. Hold that. Somebody must have like this press a button or something, but that's why I asked you guys earlier to like restart again. The Onion ginger sauce, a 
And this is a mix of sesame oil, chili oil, and the house special sauce. So what did you get? What kind of sauce did you get? I got the green onion ginger okay. sauce and a little bit of chili oil, sesame oil, and the house special wow, sauce. Wow, that's good. So I got the house the house special as well with parsley. And then also ponzu with garlic and green onion. Oh. Let's try it out. And your favorite. Well, everything came, right? I know. So let's Do try we know this what, out. what is what? Hmm? Sorry? Well, try, I believe like that beef? Beef. beef, that's lamb. Uh, beef chops, maybe? That looks like, I'm going to say pork. Pork? It looks this, like pork belly pork. to me. Yeah. This looks like beef tongue. Yeah, and it looks like beef tongue. If, yeah. I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, I might be. But everything looks we good. We got so. more vegetables here. Yeah. We have a lot of food here today. Ooh, baby corn. I love baby corn. Are you sure you don't want to, sure you want to eat some hot stuff? It's really spicy. It's really spicy? It's really spicy. Well, I'm glad I didn't take that one then. Hey, you might need some water. <laughs> really spicy. Woo! Tastes good though, but... Yeah. That's good for all the spicy lovers. Good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Is yours actually boiling now? Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Slowly getting there. Uh, so, what's your hobby other than being Miss Chinatown Hawaii Princess? Mm -hmm. My hobby is baking. Okay. During the pandemic, I actually started my own little business. Uh huh. Oh, you started your own business? Wow. A small one. It's okay. on pause. My okay. oven broke. But, what, what is your um, business about? Baking? Yeah, I was baking. So I started making oh. ube cream rolls, like you know, like the Swiss rolls. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I made an ube version of that. Then I made a durian version. Mm -hmm. I made green tea. Then I was selling them on um, our Facebook and Instagram. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A lot of people reached out to me. Um, wow, but excellent. I wasn't selling at first. But so much people were reaching out to me about it that I decided why not. Mm -hmm. So that was a good experience. That's excellent. Do you know, you know in uh, Tipresso Bar, we have to make our own ube crinkle cookies? So we're making a bakery called Soleil Baker, Baker our yeah. sister partner. Yeah. So yeah, one day if you come by, yeah, I'll hook it up. a very popular flavor. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, so um, besides that, when I'm not selling, I just make for my friends to eat. Uh, I started making a lot of Chinese dim sum. So I, I would make like dan tart, which is like egg tarts. Egg tarts, yeah. And I made, what else, halai gold, uh, lobak gold. Oh, your Cantonese is very good, Cheryl. <laughs> what else did I make? Oh, I, I made mango pudding a uh -huh. lot too. Yeah, so that was fun, you know, something to keep me busy while we're in lockdown. What about you? What's your hobbies? Like managing and owning a successful local to be business. Just all about the businesses, you know. Yeah. And I also have two little ones at home too. Like, so what? I have two little ones, two boys. Two little ones? Oh. Yeah. So that's like a that's like another job already in itself. You know. Yeah. That's why I feel for all the moms out there. It is tough. You know, it is tough. Yeah. I have six dogs at home. Huh? So I have six dogs at home. You have six dogs at six home. Dogs. Wow, how do six you do pieces. that? I don't know. But wow. it's a lot of work. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like almost like raising children. So what kind of dog do you have? Uh, Maltese. Maltese? Yeah, so I have the mom, dad, and their four babies. Wow. And you take care of all of them yourself? You're not up for a, they're not up for adoption or anything like that? No. No? Wow. Our original plan was to sell the babies. It was an accidental litter. Right. But they were so cute, we just kept them all. Oh, yeah. I got you. 
have any pets? No, yeah. I have no time for them right now, unfortunately. You know? Yeah. It's like That's another family member, so it's, you know, you really have to think about it before we have to yeah. go into there. I kind of want to get settled my businesses first. Yeah. Uh, since, you know, our MLB is our newest location, and we just opened up like in June last yeah. year. You know? So we want to get that settled first. Yeah. So yeah, come by sometime. Oh. You like some milk tea, bubble tea, yeah. coffee, smoothies. Yeah. Oh. What, what is your favorite milk tea drink at your store? Or what's your favorite drink at your store? Oh, I would say the Hong Kong milk tea. Hong Kong milk tea. Yeah. Hong Kong milk tea with condensed walls and large boba. It's always a favorite amongst locals. You know? Yeah. It's just about our, that's also because you know you know my family is also from you know my family and my wife is actually from Hong Kong as well. Yeah. So it brings out a lot of memories. No? Yeah. Yeah. What about you? What about you? What do you like there? Um, I usually go for smoothies. Really? Yeah. Oh. Strawberry but, mango? Yeah, strawberry mango is my favorite. I usually get just mango. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I can really try the coffee. Yes. That Jack was talking about. Right? Mm. Oh, maybe you should have that one for now. I'll take the next one. Are you a coffee drinker? Oh, we have another right here. Good. Another one. Are you a coffee drinker? Um, I started drinking coffee recently. Let's try it, you know? A little hot. So let's wait a little bit for it. Yeah. A little hot. Okay. In the meanwhile, I am going to chow down on all the food, you know? Yes. So this, I believe, is beef tongue. Let's try that. And like I mentioned, the soup is really, really hot. I mean, it is spicy. I don't think Sarah can have any of this. You know? <laughs> for letting me know. Uh, yeah? <laughs> okay, let's try this. Oh, it's so thinly sliced. It's going to cook really Let's try it. Mm. Oh, excellent. Mm. Excellent. Okay, let's try this. I do love myself a good shabu shabu place, you know? Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm veggie. So you like some shrimp? You like them? this out okay we got some a lot of veggies here enoki mushroom um do you guys have any soda yep. soda pepsi products uh mountain dew root beer iced oh. tea oh wow right. mountain dew mountain dew mountain dew i just have ice water okay. thank, thank you, you. Okay. oh they got like small little homemade one tons man yeah, i didn't even see that in there yeah. Mushroom, of course. Can't get enough of mushroom. <laughs> try some of the mini one ton. Let's get some of this one ton. All right. Wow, oh, they're so small and cute. So dig in, man. How did you feel today? Taking pictures and with all the local representatives? Yeah, I feel good. Oh, great. You're lucky to be able to meet all these people. And you get to cut, right, the ribbon? Did you, were you the yeah, one that cut? Yeah, I oh, did cut wow. the ribbon. Excellent. Yeah, it was a lot easier to cut than I thought. Yeah. They have some fancy, like, scissors, too. Right? Yeah, they were really yeah. gold. <laughs> I, 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 was, I awesome. was surprised they had a lot of scissors. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is like way too spicy though, man. You should try it. But if I try some... that, I'd probably can't eat anything else. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's brutal. Mm -hmm. You really have to like spicy to actually dig into this spicy soup. Yeah. But it is good. Yeah. yeah. Mine is very hearty. Oh, thank you, thank you. Pause for anybody. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ooh, hot. I like the simple things. This broth is simple, simple? but very flavorful. So if this milk tea, what would you like? What's your simple milk tea that you like? From anyone. Doesn't have to be from mine. <laughs> Doesn't have to be from Tepresso. From any milk tea shop. What is any your favorite? Any milk tea shop. From which location? From Tipresso? From, let's see what else is there, right? Top tea, they also make a brown sugar milk tea. The alley. Cow cow. Cow cow tea. At the alley. The um, alley. Oh, Alamoana. Yeah, yeah good, they good, have good. Um, this really good, um, it's called the Dariolka one. That's I think the they have creme brulee in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah really I really love texture. creme brulee. Yeah, and right, I remember, right, right. Um, I think Tipresso actually had a creme brulee drink We too. do have. Yeah. That plug, one's pretty good too. We, plug, we actually have a really good creme brulee milk tea. Yes. And that's a plug. <laughs> I think because we're the, uh, one of the first uh, stores I saw creme brulee milk tea. That's why I tried yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you know. Oh, good job. You must come to see Presso a lot. Thank you. Thank you for the support. <laughs> you know? Oh, but. This is a lot of food. Oh, it is. I don't know if I can finish all of this. Wow, the veggies are just very crisp. Even though it's cooked, it's still crunchy. Right. Very, yeah. very mm -hmm. I think the first time I had the creme brulee milk tea was actually at the Kaomoku location. Oh! Yeah. And yeah. Well, thank you for the support. That's our business location. So. So did you go overseas while being Miss Chinatown Hawaii Princess? Nothing overseas yet? Oh, okay. Will you, if they do let you go, where would you want to go? Hmm? I would want to go back to China. China? Oh. All my family is in China. Mm -hmm. What part? All over. Oh. Um, so there's some uncles in Kung Chao. Mm -hmm. uh, my, fam my mom's side is back in... Um, Oh, I forgot the word in Chinese. Yan Fu. Wan Bao, Wan Bao. Ah, okay, 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 okay. And then my dad's side is in Gong. Oh, yeah. you're really all over, right? Yeah. Amazing. Have so, you been? Have you uh, been there before? Yeah, when I was younger, we used to go every year. Wow. But um, once I started going to like high school and college, it got busier, so I wasn't able to take as much um, time off to go back. So it's been about... I want to say like eight years since I've been back. Oh, great, great, great. Yeah. But with the pandemic, it hasn't been easy to go back either. Right, yeah, that's yeah. true. There's a lot of quarantine restrictions yeah. now, right? So I would, I would really like to go back to China and just see my family. Maybe climb the Great in Wall. Fact, it's been a long time ever since I actually dined in a restaurant, you know? That's <laughs> yeah. true, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. And if the restrictions easing up, I think it would be a lot busier at all the restaurants too. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to dig into the beef if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. You want me to move it closer? That's good. That's good. Did you eat a lot of meat? Did you eat a lot of beef? I eat a lot of meat. You look like you don't eat that much meat. <laughs> All right. Let me try a little soda. Let's go try the rainbow stones. I'm gonna try this first. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the rainbow stone cup there. And I do drink a lot of coffee, so I have high expectations for this. Okay. You know? I don't drink a lot of coffee, so I think he's strong. the coffee expert here. It does smell pretty strong. Mm. Try it. 
strong taste, strong aroma. It really does look, it really tastes like Kona coffee, which they said it was. Mm. That definitely will wake me up in the morning. Very good. Smooth taste. Yeah. Mm. There's smooth some black coffees I've tried that, like the moment I tried it, it was just really sour. Mm. But this does not give me any sour taste at all. It's very smooth. It's smooth. That's good. I could drink this. Mm. Oh, wait. I shouldn't drink that much. I'm going to be awake for the whole day. Huh? Won't be able to sleep tonight. Okay, let's go try some more food. Definitely be drinking that for all my Miss Chinatown duties. Are you normally a coffee drinker? Sorry? Are you normally a coffee drinker? No, I started drinking it because of the pageant. Oh, uh, <laughs> I see. Yeah, just um, for the pageants to prepare, we have to take classes and rehearsals. Right. And rehearsals would be, um, you would have to be there by like 10 a.m. or 8 a.m. And then before that, we would have to get ready. Because we can't get ready there, we have to get ready at home. So I have to wake up even earlier and then bring my dogs before that too. Wow. So, very dedicated. Yeah, the very rehearsals good. would go from like 10 a.m. till I want to say 4 or 5. 4 or 5? Yeah. So where have you volunteered so far at the um, at the Chinatown Hawaii Princess? Well, we did a lot of volunteering for the Honolulu Chinese JC community. Um, they're the organization that actually gives us our scholarships. So all of our scholarship money, they raise it and then they pass it on to us as our as our prizes. Great, great, great. So we do a lot for them. Um, I do know that we're trying to um, organize a volunteering event with the Hong um, Kong. Hawaiian Humane Society. Hawaiian Humane so Society. that should be about maybe next month. Wow, you do a lot for the society. We appreciate that. Thank you. So as you can see here, if you can look in the back of us, Jack is going around making it around, you know, to drink some, you know, to, to give a toast to everybody. That's very good. Thank you. Thank you. I can't get over how good this beef is. This yeah, is good. This is good. Will you come back? I will come back. I will come back. This location is yeah. really good because there's so yeah. much parking. So much parking right inside the mall. Yeah. You know? Very, Very good easy. AC. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. And after you eat, you can just shop. Yep. Work off the food. Okay. Or I can eat in the girl shop. <laughs> <laughs> Not a one ton here. That's two. Mm. Oh, my one ton. That's slippery. Is there anything you want to try here? Huh? Let's go try the sausage in that. I believe so. I, I will try. Want I want to try the udon noodles. I love udon noodles. noodles. So you can try this. See? Try some sausages here while they on this conveyor belt. Something new and fancy, right? Wanna try some? Okay. I'll take one. It's good. Thank you. Take the, take the last one. Yeah, okay. Oh good? Okay. Uh, just so much I want to try. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go finish all that so we can just put it right on top. Uh, okay. Yeah, put it right on top. I'm going to try some of this. Mm -hmm. Let's see. This might be pork or chicken. Mm -hmm. It's either pork or chicken. Yeah, it looks. For some reason, I'm, I'm thinking it's chicken, but how do they slice it that thin? Exactly! Like, that's, like that's some I'm, really thin chicken. I'm really... I think it's that's chicken. That's really interesting. Because pork doesn't come out white like this. Yeah, right? 
Again, what sauce is that? Uh, green onion ginger sauce, mm -hmm. and then I have the house special sauce. House special. Right? So with the, the chicken of this green onion sauce makes me feel like I'm at a Chinese restaurant. You eat a lot. You eat a lot in Chinese restaurants. Yeah, my parents they love Chinese food. Yeah, same here. Yeah. yeah, so they don't go out to eat unless it's Chinese food. <laughs> Which brings me to an interesting, interesting question. Does your parents like to eat raw fish? No. My parents either. They do not like raw fish. My parents have this thing where everything has to be cooked. Yeah, same so, here. <laughs> no salads, right? no raw fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same here. Yeah. So they're missing out because they can't eat poke, you know? And, poke. Yeah. and this is chicken. Amazing, it is chicken. Yeah. You're right. Amazing, it's, it's cut so thin though. Not yet. Okay, Tell me how it is. Mm? It's so small and so cute. Oh, there's, oh, those are dumplings though, not one ton. Mm. Got some dao ji over here, man. Mm? That is good. I know, right? Excellent. Mm? And the fact that I was in here for a while and the one ton wrapper didn't break or dissolve. Mm. And the meat inside, the, I think it's pork. It's super juicy. Well, I think it's so good. I'm just chowing down. I'm just eating everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of variety of um, fish balls here. They have one's mm -hmm. lobster. This one is um, white and yellow. Let's try it. Kind of looks like a peppermint candy. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, I'll take one. Okay, so now that we're chowing down, uh, we are going to be closing up in five minutes here. So just want to say, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you for you know watching us and live stream at Hi Vlog. Um, I myself again, it's Stanley Yu. This is Sarah Liu, and she oh. and once again she's a Miss Hawaii uh, Miss Chinatown Hawaii. Princess and Miss from Jenny Alley. It's a pleasure to have her with me right now. It's a pleasure to be dining with this um, very, very popular boss. Well, Not very popular. Very popular um, <laughs> no. milk tea place. <laughs> tea Presto is amazing. But thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you. How do you know? Good? Fun? Yeah. I can eat, like actually eat. <laughs> 